20,000 plus square feet. Give us the, the sense of this place. When was it originally built? Well, the house was built in 1924 and it is absolutely spectacular. Um, when the Pattersons bought it, they actually, they found it when it was sort of just, it was half under construction, it was still kind of a lifeless shell. And they really redid the whole house, all 20,000 square feet. Um, they re-landscaped it, they built a huge pool in the backyard, they brought in mango, avocado trees, um, did a whole new floor plan inside as well. This pool's so big, you mentioned it's 75 feet long. Uh, yes. He joke. he calls it, he named it after his wife, <laughs> what did he call it? <laughs> Well, Mrs. Patterson was a um, swimmer in college, and so she actually, it's actually 25 yards, which is, you know, a standard sort of swimming, um, swimmer's pool, and she goes in every day. Um, they also, they did other things to the house as well. I mean, they redid the whole kitchen, they updated it. Um, they have a giant lapis lazuli, massive kitchen island um, in there, which is just beautiful. And they also retained a lot of the, you know, the home's sort of historic flavor. Um, the house is a Mediterranean revival, and it was said to perhaps be, you know, built by or helped be built by um, a very famous Palm Beach architect, Mr. Meisner. And so they kept sort of touches from him, including these sort of randomly placed windows throughout the home, um, staircases to nowhere, which are sort of just decorative staircases sort of in the sides of the home. A lot of outdoor loggias they kept um, sort of flanking the main structure. And they, they restored, you know, sort of, sort of cypress ceilings and terracotta floors and then moved them in different parts of the house where they looked better. And Lauren, one curious thing about this, I mean, James Patterson obviously has an enormous and rabid fan base around the world, people who you think would come and gawk at this home, but in the beginning, yeah. he didn't want to have a gate there? What was he thinking? Well, well, the Pattersons, they're a really um, open couple, and they actually, you know, part of their aesthetic is kind of being open and inviting, and the home itself, you know, they, re they sort of opened it up, they planted no foliage outside. I mean, <laughs> most of Palm Beach, when you drive by, there are huge palm trees in front of the homes, or there are 20-foot hedges and this home there's just a big lawn I mean they, they planted almost nothing in front of the house and they also you know as a couple they didn't really want a massive gate in front of it um, but what happened is they found is there were fans coming up to the home um, the you know the Patterson's house is actually connected to the home next door which was owned for a long time by John Lennon and Yoko Ono so there were James Patterson fa fans coming to the house there were John Lennon fans coming in and then tour buses started parking in the driveway and that was the last straw so the couple finally built a gate and there's a very small modest five-foot gate in front of the house now but it's still pretty open